This is the ninth video in the 10-part Login to Firebase with SwiftUI playlist series. In this video, we'll be finding out how you can allow your users to request a password reset. This is actually very easy. In the Forgot Password view, we have a button that we want to send the email address onto Firebase and let Google take care of sending out an email and asking the user to reset the password. The documentation for this can be found in the Google site, and I'll leave a link for this in the notes below. You might want to read through it as it allows you to customize the template and language being used. If we get an error back, we want to notify the user. So back in FB Auth, I've created a function that will request the reset by passing the email and dealing with the result in a callback. So once again, let's return to the forgot password view. And here, let's create a state variable so we can display an alert and capture the error string. We'll make the error string an optional string. And for the action now, we can call that function in the FB auth namespace, passing in the user email from the view model. Then, as always, we can switch on result. If the result's a failure, we want to capture the error. And if a success, we just break. And we can follow that up with setting show alert to true to trigger an alert. So the final thing we have to do now is to show the alert. Let's attach that to our view. For the title, we'll just say password reset. And for the message, we'll display the error if there is one, or display a success notice if the error string is nil. Then for our dismiss button action, we'll dismiss the view when tapped. Let's try this out. First, let's try an account that doesn't exist. Nice response. The error handling is working. Now for the one that we know. We get a success response and I just heard a ding. I have a new email. Notice this, that's the name that we used when we configured our public facing name back in the Firebase setup video. Let's initiate the change by tapping on the link and I'll enter a new password. Now let's see if I can log in with that new password. Great. One more video to go, and it's probably the one you've all been waiting for, the sign in with Apple routine. Videos for this series are being posted as they're created, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to be notified when new ones are posted, not only for this playlist, but for all of my SwiftUI videos.